Hey what's up guys, Mitch HD here and I am here with the E for Ear 777-300ER by JC Wings in a 1-200 scale. I uh, pre-ordered this from JetwayModels.com Their link and any other links will be down in the description below just like my social media, my Facebook and my Twitter. So this is my 14th 777 model and it is my second E for Airways model. I have the same model but made by Phoenix but I prefer this one a lot better. I will do a comparison uh, JC Wings and Gemini Jets versus Phoenix uh, and I'll use this model and the same one from Phoenix to compare it, um, show you like livery details, how different the liveries are and um, but mainly the aircraft details like the wheels, the engines and all that kind of stuff so uh, Eva Air is uh, the name is derived from its parent company Evergreen Airways which is part of the shipping conglomerate Evergreen Group the operation space is out of Luzu, Taoyuan City in Taiwan. Their main hub is Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport. The secondary hubs include Kaohsiung International Airport and Suva Nabumi Airport in Bangkok. Sorry if I, I pronounced that wrong. Uh, they were founded on March 1989 and since then they are known as the world's third safest airline and have had no incidents. Their fleet consists of 62 aircraft as of 13 May 2015. 19 of those are 777 300ERs with 9 more on order. They have 73 mainline destinations and their 777s fly to North America, other parts of Asia and Europe. Uh, their uh, flights from Taiwan to Houston start in 2015 and to Chicago in 2016. This aircraft was delivered on the 22nd of June 2006 and the Boeing customer code for EVA Air is 5E. So I'll just show you around the box here. So at the top we have Hello Kitty, EVA Air, San Rio family and these are all the characters. And you see a 2D picture of the model right there. EVA Air Boeing 777-300ER, scale 1-200 to and then you see the Evergreen logo which is their parent company. Which is uh, how EVA Air's logo came about. Hello Kitty, Eva Air, Boeing 777-300 and there are some warnings, like always standard JC Wings box some of the characters on the top there and on the bottom pink side and there are the other characters alright so time to take this out of the box it's a little difficult to get out this one And there we have the model. Alright, so now the model is out of the box. And uh, by the way, this livery was applied to this aircraft in September of 2013. Okay, so now let's take a look around the aircraft. So I'll start at the port side here at the cockpit. Okay, so we have the cockpit windows, we have the radome. Window wipers, Star Alliance logo because they're part of the Star Alliance group with uh, 27 airlines in total. Part of, uh, sorry, there is a registration there, B16703, and part of the re registration on the gear door. And I'll just take you through this livery right here. I don't know the names of the characters, I'm not going to go through them. Um, but yeah pretty well detailed as you can see come back along to the titles so we have the EVA Air titles and you see the San Rio family titles we have the GE90-115B engine here and you see two little mice painted on the engine you can see the engine strake or air deflector on the inside engine nacelle. Engines do spin pretty easily. Same with this one. No problems. A 
Right, so we'll continue along the leading edge of the wing. You can see the navigation light there and the strobe at the end of the raked wingtip. Continue along the fuselage, Boeing 777-300ER. Registration B16703 or Bravo 16703. And then there is the EVA Air logo. And the same logo of the parent company, Evergreen, uh, Evergreen Group. Now we'll take a look at the APU. Don't expect uh, anything wrong here. Perfect strobe light. Exhaust. Very well finished as always. Now we'll take a look on the starboard side. Cockpit windows, radome, registration, Star Alliance logo, part of the registration on the gear, door. There's the, um, if you can't see it, right on that pink mouse, there is a cargo container door. Delivery is, I think, just a reflection onto this side. Eva Air Titles, Sanrio Family, the massive G90 engines, and you can also see, same as on the other side, the inboard landing light. There's a green navigation light right there and a strobe light. Continue along the fuselage on that blue mouse, just here. Another cargo container door, and then right here, that is the uh, bulk bin door. Boeing 777-300ER and the registration, and then the logo. So, uh, I'll show you underneath the aircraft now. Bring this camera up. Alright. So we have the first gear. And down to first beacon light, hole for the stand, the main gears and the gear doors, the engine, flaps, slats, ailerons, there's the rake wingtip, you can see the fuel dump right there, and on this wing, basically the same but with the registration. Right, and we continue down. It's one antenna, two antennas. It's a little hump there for when there's a tail strike and uh, access to the APU. Now we have a look on top. You see emergency escape hatches on the top. Beacon light, oh sorry, uh, anti collision light. Another escape hatch antenna. Another escape hatch and those two black dots there, those are ADF antennas. Overwing exit, flaps, slats, ailerons and spoilers. Down to the right wingtip. You can see the the no step writing. So that's very cool. And on the side, the same. Continue down. This is the... Um, Satcom, that hump there, there's another escape hatch, two more antennas, more like um, HF and VF, or VHF, sorry, and down to the tail. See those two grey dots there on each side of the horizontal stabilizer? Those are the uh, logo lights that light up the tail at night time. Alright, so... I'll just run through the seating of this aircraft. Okay. So there are three versions of this aircraft. I'll quickly go through them. So Royal Laurel, which is like the first class, 38 flatbed seats um, from rows 1 to 3, then 5 to 6, then 8 to 11. So here, 
until probably about here somewhere. Uh, and then there is Elite. 64 recliner seats from rows 20 to 27 here to about here and then there is economy 211 seats from rows 45 to 57 and 60 to 71 so about here all the way to the back of the aircraft it brings that total to 313 seats version 2 premium Laurel which is uh, I'm guessing the same as Royal Laurel 36 angle flat seats from rows 6 to 11, just they have different seats this time here to here. Um, oh, sorry, maybe about, about up to here somewhere, but further in. Elite 72 recliner seats from rows 20 to 28, so here to here, and then there is. Economy, 211 seats again from rows 45 to 50, 57 and 60 to 71, so here all the way to the back. 319 seats in total. Then the last version is Royal Laurel again, 39 flatbed seats from rows 1 to 11, so here uh, to, to, I'm guessing, here, like last, like version 1. And Elite, 56 recliner seats from rows 20 to 26, here to here. And then there's economy, 238 seats from rows 45 to 57 and 60 to 73. That goes all the way to the back of the aircraft from rows, uh, sorry, I've already mentioned the rows. I mean, a total of 333 seats. All right, so just get into some of the features before I put this on the stand and show you guys the stand. So this aircraft has rolling wheels, like always, steerable nose gear, as you can see here engine spin like I showed you before, the wheels, a tilt, and if I can get this right, you should be able to see the landing lights, or landing light, the, it's usually situated in here somewhere, just here, on some models you can see them. This one doesn't look like you can. Oh, yeah, that's some of the features, and um, one more I've got to get to soon. Here we have the stand, so E for air, and then there's the um, I, uh, Taiwan or Chinese, I think. Uh, I'm not sure what language exactly. There's the Evergreen or Eva Airways logo. Boeing 777-300ER, scale 1 to 200, just a regular stand, and then we've got the blue film on the back to protect uh, the metal, so when you peel it off, and once I get rid of the fingerprints, which I won't do now, um, you'll get a nice shiny back. And there's padding on top of the stand to protect the model underneath so it doesn't get scratched. And that should, here we go, just sits in there like that. Alright, so it's one last feature of this aircraft, and that is the gears. You can take them off, like that one there. And they're just magnetic. So you take them off very easily, there's the magnet there, and you can put them back in quite easily, and you just replace them with these gear doors, and uh, yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching this video today, I really hope you enjoyed, please leave a like if you did, uh, also comment, tell me if you're going to get it, or tell me if you have got it, tell me what you think. Uh, I think it's a really cool looking model. I prefer this one definitely over the Phoenix one. Um, also share so other people can know about it and decide if they want to get it. Subscribe because I have a lot more on the way. I have two more videos to come and they are the Scoot 787-9 and the ANA 787-9. Also check out my previous video, the FedEx MT-11 
Freighter unboxing. Such a cool model, that one, you don't want to miss that. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.